rural area. After agriculture, I turn to the other segment, the rural economy. A sum of rupees 2.87 lakh crores will be given as grant in aid to the gram panchayats and municipalities as per the recommendations of the 14th Finance Commission. This is a quantum jump of 228% compared to the previous five years. The funds now allocated will translate to an average assistance of over rupees 80 lakhs per gram panchayat and rupees 21 crore per local uh, urban body. These enhanced allocations are capable of transforming villages and small towns. Ministry of Panchayat Raj will work with the states and in involving guidelines to actualize this. There is an urgent need to focus on areas uh, of drought and rural distress. Every block in these distressed areas will be taken up as an intensive block under the Deen Dayal Antode mission. Formation of self-help groups will be speeded to promote multiple livelihood. Cluster facilitation teams will be set up under MG Naregas to ensure water conservation and natural resource management. These instincts would also be taken up on a priority basis under the Pradhan Mantri Krishi Yeshachai Yojana. A sum of rupees 38,500 crores has been allocated for Manrega in 2016-17. Madam, if this total amount is spent, this will be the highest ever amount spent in a year on Manrega. 300 Rurban clusters will be developed under the Shama Prashad Mukherjee Rurban Mission launched by the Honorable Prime Minister recently. These clusters will include in incubate growth centers in rural areas by providing infrastructural amenities and market access for farmers. These will also expand employment opportunities for the youth. As of 1st April 2015, a total of 18,542 villages were not electrified. The Honorable Prime Minister in his address to the nation on 15th August 2015 announced that the remaining villages will be electrified in the next 1,000 days. As on 23rd February 2016, 5,542 villages have been electrified. I think the Power Minister and the Ministry deserves to be congratulated for this. This is more than the total combined achievement of the previous three years. The government is committed to achieve 100% village electrification by 1st May 2018. Rupees 8,500 crores has been provided for the Deen Dayal Upadhyay Gram Jyoti Yojana and integrated power development schemes. Swachh Bharat Mission is India's biggest drive to improve sanitation and cleanliness, especially in rural India. This subject was very close to the heart of the father of the nation. For the first time since independence, the parliament has had a comprehensive debate on sanitation. This has become a topic of discussion in almost every home. We have introduced ranking of urban areas in sanitation, which has resulted in constructive competition along towns and cities. Rupees 9,000 crores has been provided for the Swachh Bharat Abhiyan. In order to continue this momentum, priority al allocation from the centrally sponsored scheme will be made to reward villages that have become free from open defecation. We need to derive greater benefit from the demographic advantage. We need to spread digital literacy in rural areas. Of the 16.8 crore rural households, as many as 12 crore households do not have computers and are unlikely to have digitally literate people. We have approved two schemes to promote digital literacy, National Digital Literacy Mission and Digital Shakshartha Abhiyan. We now plan to launch the Digital Literacy Mission Scheme for rural India to cover around 6 crore additional households in the next three years. Details of this scheme will be spelt out separately. Modernization of land records is critical for dispute-free titles. 
the national land record modernization program has been revamped uh, under the digital india initiative and will be implemented as a central sector scheme with effect from 1st april 2016 the revamped program will be built and uh, an integrated land transformation management system 150 crores has been provided for this purpose panchayat raj institutions need to develop governance capabilities to deliver sustainable goals it has therefore been proposed to launch a new restructured scheme namely the rashtriya gram swaraj abhiyan for which rupees 655 crore has been set up for rural development as a whole i have allocated rupees 87765 crores in this budget